So for our additions, we need another ounce of mosaic. I'm Christian Clays, and this is my home brewery, Monkeys with Pints. I've been an all-grain brewer since 1996. I brew because I enjoy serving others really good beer, a beer that surprises their palates and something they generally can't find elsewhere. I brew because the process combines multiple interests like chemistry, microbiology, engineering, the creative process of recipe development, the art of converting a few raw materials into a beer with near infinite complexity. There's always something new to be learned, processes to refine, styles to master. I make all sorts of American and English ales, continental lagers, most Belgian styles, and some fruit beers. But the style that intrigues me the most has to be sours. Like most home brewers who have been at it for a while, my equipment and system has grown and evolved over the years. Stepping up to the buy once, cry once spike system is the most exciting and significant upgrade that I've made in the past 20 years as a home brewer. So right now we're just in the process of fly sparging. And with the spike system, it's as simple as matching your HLT water in to the uh, boil kettle fill. So you're maintaining the same amount of water over the grain bed uh, during the whole fly sparge. And it takes a couple of tweaks and then you can pretty much hands off, just let it do its thing. And you can look at the markings on the kettle or just using the sight glass on the side of the kettles. Keep those water levels the same and consistent during the whole fly sparge. Looking for about eight and a quarter for boil volume. Preheating the boil kettle as I go and you can dial in the output of the boil kettle just with a couple of pushes of the button. You can drop it down to 40% so it's just pulsing and not on a hard boil until I get all the, the boil volume in. I chose to go electric with a Herm system because I wanted control and accuracy of all the processes involved in my wort production. It functions flawlessly, allowing me to quickly and precisely adjust mash temps on the fly, making step mashes very simple and predictable. Got all the grain storage relatively organized with the base malts um, and all the uh, specialty malts. Crush table, just using an old drill and uh, barley crusher two roller mill, Ikea supplied table. This cabinet is just for all my brewing salts and acid additions to balance out the mash chemistry a little bit. Erlenmeyer flasks for yeast starters. Chugger pumps that come with a complete spike system and counterflow chiller. This particular iteration was the Chillzilla and charcoal filter just to clean things up before it hits the hot liquor tank. And probably the most important part of the brewery is just cleanup, which is seems like two thirds of every brew day. Carboy and corny keg storage and the CO2 and nitrogen mix bottle for the keg grater and an eight tap keg grater built off of a scratch and dent freezer unit. And it's a pretty typical keg grater setup. I can fit five gallon or two and a half gallon cornies. Keep my yeast starters in here as well, and yeast. And the fermentation fridge. The build quality of the kettles is exceptional. The false bottom design seems pretty close to perfect. My very first batch in the system was a Bavarian Hefeweizen with 75% wheat in the grain bill. I circulated the mash through the chugger pump with the valves wide open and had no sign of a sticking sparge. It flowed beautifully. The kettle heating elements are really efficient. My groundwater is 40 degrees flowing out of the charcoal filter, and 12 gallons in the HLT will hit strike temp about as quickly as I can prepare for my brew session. I used to put my pellet hops in a five gallon paint strainer bag to keep them out of the fermenter. I can now just let them swim free, whirlpool, and fill the fermenter with clean wort from the side pickup. I can recommend the spike system and kettles to fellow home brewers without reservation. I truly believe these are the finest quality homebrew kettles available today. Superior in quality, durability, and design to the primary competitors. There's nothing in the system that leaves me wishing or wanting for anything more, and I'd buy it again in a heartbeat.